So now what I'd like to do for you is demonstrate how to create a primary site and have that primary site join into an existing central administration site. So this is not a standalone primary, this is going to be a primary that's a part of an existing central hierarchy. So let's go ahead and bring up the setup program. So we can see here the System Center 2012 Config Manager Setup and we will go ahead and click Install. Uh, you'll notice there's other options here, uh, including just additional resources and links to information. Uh, but if we click on Install, it'll bring up the Config Manager Setup Wizard. So that's the setup. This is the wizard that's going to walk us through. We did this very similar steps a moment ago when we were looking at installing the central administration. And we did the central administration um, by making this option. But now that we've already done that, what we can do is install a primary site. And we do have the option to check the box that says use a typical installation options for a standalone primary. We don't want to do a standalone, so be aware of that. Even though you may want to use the default installation path, uh, configure a local SQL server and input local management, you may want to do all of that, but we're not doing a standalone. We're going to join into a hierarchy. So let's go ahead and click Next. And for the sake of the demo, we can do this as an evaluation. And we'll click Next. We, of course, have to accept the license terms, as always. Now here are the prerequisite licenses, just like we did with the central administration site. We need to accept these in anticipation of deploying them at later times again. So we're essentially accepting them in perpetuity as it relates to this system. Now, once again, we have these prerequisites that can take a while to, uh, to download. So we're going to use previously downloaded files. These are the prerequisite files that it needs to look over. So I'm going to go ahead and look to a local folder here and click OK and click Next. And what it's doing here is it's going to look to this folder to determine if the files that it needs, all of its uh, setup files, whether it can be verified. And since we're using a local folder this time, it's going much faster and we're able to uh, retrieve that information in a much quicker manner. Now what it's doing is verifying. You can see 10 of 14 files so far have been verified and it's verifying that all of the files that it needs as soon as we get to the end of this wizard and start our installation, all of the files that it needs are locally accessible. Um, and they're all the correct and they've been verified as properly uh, in, in a proper structure. Now part of those files are language files. So we can see here, first of all, server language files. So what language do we want to install this server to support? We'll click Next. And the next would be uh, the client language files. So when we deploy clients, we have multiple language support. So depending on whether the client has a certain MUI installed, uh, it can support these additional languages. Let's go ahead and click Next. And now we need to do a site code. So let's say we're installing a primary site in Miami. My site code might be MIA. And I might give it a description of Miami primary site. Okay, here's the installation folder. Am I going to install the Config Manager console and so on. And then we'll go ahead and click Next. Now this is what we were looking for join the primary site to an existing hierarchy. And this is where we could specify the fully qualified domain name of that hierarchy. The other option is to install the primary site as a standalone. But we don't want to do that. We want to join into an existing hierarchy. And this is where we might specify uh, we'll give it the the uh, fully qualified domain name. Here is the actual fully qualified domain name, FQDN, of the central site that we want to join into. And that's the main option that's going to make it different from a primary versus joining an existing. And uh, this is uh, the main thing that I wanted to show you here in this, uh, in this configuration. So 
We can see right here, Setup was unable to retrieve the site code for the specified central administration site server. So it was unable to determine the actual site code. I gave it the site server name, and if it's unable to communicate and get that information, then we wouldn't be able to continue. Um, but this is the main thing that I wanted to show you. I actually don't want to continue from here. It's just more of the same installation options that we've seen previously. It's got to go through its prerequisites. It's got to validate those prerequisites and ultimately get installed. But those are our options. It's very similar to doing a, uh, a standalone primary site. It's just that one option there that gets us to join in. Remember, the order is important. If I previously installed a primary, I will not have the option to install a secondary, uh, sorry, or I will not have the option to install a central at a later time. I instead have to do that central first, and now come in and do what I just showed you, and have it join into that existing hierarchy.